The communion is called food indeed and drink indeed. So it really saturates the soul. It is absolutely necessary. Besides, it is called the true medicine which can cure a person. That's what the communion is. That's the food indeed and the true medicine. It saturates the soul. Of course, we should have experience of this. But indeed, it saturates the soul. It makes us sure of God's existence, of God's grace, and its effect on the soul. It comes down to the passion, but the person must take the communion like a tax collector in the parable of the tax collector and the Pharisee who could see that he hadn't done anything good and who beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And indeed, we don't do anything good indeed. And St. Macarius the Great, who was called an earthly God, praised God be merciful to me, a sinner, as I have done nothing good in my entire life. Because always we do something out of vanity, self-interest, man-pleasing, we should look into our souls. And if you take communion with this, feeling of the tax collector, you will see the great use that you will receive. There are so many cases when a person who took the communion got cured from the most obvious diseases. I don't even want to tell, but I witnessed that. So the true communion so, the one I just described is indeed the true medicine which the world is looking for. The true medicine is the true medicine which the world is looking for. The true medicine is the true medicine which the world is looking for. And it always fails to find because it cures both the soul and the body, but only on condition that the person receives the communion indeed, fulfilling all the necessary conditions. There are many facts of the kind, and please keep in mind, because we suffer a lot, but we shouldn't just take communion technically, mechanically, no, we should realize that we are coming to God Himself. That's him. That's the fire. And we should come up to him with all repentance, humility. And in this case, this communion will indeed be the panacea, the medicine for all the diseases. That's what the communion is.